an Israelite prepper here just at, uh, actually we're at a home and garden show. And right now we're in the in a nursery, so we can see what a few things that could be planted, you know, on the land. For instance, as you pan over here, you can see some citrus trees that you can plant right away over here. Oranges, lemons, you know, those, those are really deep orange over there. But these are some things that go right at the base down here, point out here. Yeah, you can just immediately grab it, boom, take it to your land, plant it, and you already start growing things to kind of get a head start, to get a kick start. We're going to look at some of these things real quick. We're going to look around. She's going to get a little bit of uh, film and look around a little bit. Some of the things, some ideas. Well, over here, we've been looking at um, wood stoves and stuff for outside Side. We're talking about fire pits, things like that, so that it's a very nice and pleasant place because you're trying to build your own personal paradise. So that is the idea. So right now we're going to do the, the nursery, and then after we work our way around, we're going to go to the tiny homes. So the next video you see might be the tiny homes, unless something else catches my eye. Is Israelite prepper? Let's just walk around. Look at a couple of things. Over here. Here. It smells great. It's some bamboo. Wow. You want it to smell good on the land? Smelling this, uh, what is this? The uh, elder pine. Smells great. Mmm, that works. This mesquite. It will smell great on the land right there. A lot of things to kind of beautify the place. The first thing we're going to do is um, make it a very pleasant. I know it's a little bit unconventional, a little bit, but what we're going to do is we're going to make the place look very, very pleasant. And I told you guys in phase one, it's going to be like a campground. So what we're going to do is a lot of uh, landscaping and getting everything structurally uh, uh, in place, build the gardens. Uh, and just really beautify the place, you know, uh, and it'll be campground ready. You want to get the water situation, want to get the restroom situation taken care of, all the, all those type of things, little shower houses, stuff like that. Have that ready to go, and then when you start to build, when you start to build, you, um, you're, you're ready. Everything on the outside. In fact, there's a, a scripture in Proverbs that says, you know, get everything ready on the outside and I forgot I got to get the script I'll give it to you guys later but I know it's in Proverbs and I'm paraphrasing it just says get everything ready on the outside and then build your house and so that's that's the whole goal that, okay that's the, the biblical principle that we want to do um, so we're gonna be ready to go have all the, all the things that we want to get done on the land everything on the outside first so we're gonna get things you know nice and pleasant because it's a, it's a, it's important simply because we want to appreciate our surroundings, we want to appreciate nature, and we want to appreciate what Yah has uh, put together, and we want to put some of our own little touches on it and stuff because there's going to be some depressing times coming where it's just, you won't have anything to smile about. But if you just make your home, your community, just a little bit more pleasant, you know, to be there. And it's beautiful. You got nature, you're going to have nature and birds and wild turkeys and things like that. And then when you have your surroundings, it's just nice and peaceful in a time where the world is going into chaos. You have some little sanctuary, some little peace of mind just to maintain your sanity. So, and, you know, something nice to look at is like prepping.